Everybody, Philip Janinski here. In this video, I'll be demoing the Wild Lobo by AS Pedals, a company based in the beautiful island of Mallorca. So, hola a todos. Jose is the man behind AS Pedals, which he's running together with his wife since 2019. Although he's been building pedals for about 12 years already. AS Pedals stands for a passion for vintage sounds. All their pedals are handmade, hand soldered, using through hole components, and they combine NOS, so new old stock components, with high quality new components. After having released a bunch of super cool fuzz pedals, the Wild Lobo is AS Pedal's first overdrive pedal. It's based on the Clark Gainster or Manatone Red Snapper, which is also known as the Brown Tone Hoochie Mama. And it features a volume and a gain knob and a contour knob, which is your main EQ knob if you want to, and a cut knob that lets you sculpt the high frequencies. And then AS Pedals added a tame toggle switch, which adds a second clipping stage to your signal. Okay, I wanted to show you some single coil sounds first. I'm playing my Tally into my Rev D20. Later I'll grab my ES-335 and show you some humbucker sounds. This is the Tally into the amp. On the bridge pickup. And here comes the Wild Lobo. Okay, so this is like a medium gain setting for this pedal. There's not a huge amount of gain in it. It's like a low to medium gain overdrive pedal in general. Um, you won't also get much more gain out of it. So let's crank it first. <laughs> So what you can do if you want more gain, the pedal was tamed. So I just unleashed the beast. I uh, flicked over the toggle switch to the left. There you get more gain. You're maybe losing a bit of volume. But you can always compensate with the volume knob. Okay, so let's do the same thing with a bit with a bit less uh, gain. So on the right, it's there's less compression, there's more compression on the left. Uh, the right position feels more natural, you know, more amp-like. And on the left, you get more pedal um, clipping. So as you saw, 
this is the gain range. Then you have the two EQ knobs, the contour and the cut knob. So the contour, as Jose told me, is pre-gain. And what I find with EQ knobs that are pre-gain, they determine the feel, the sponge that you get under the fingers. So my tendency here would be to go to the left. <laughs> And if this is too much travel for you, you can simply use the cut knob and cut out some of this travel. So this is a bit smoother like this. This would be all the way to the right on the cut knob. Somehow the mids come out like this, you know, you're getting rid of the travel. So the only thing left or what is left is the mids and you are, or at least I am noticing them much more like this. Another way to treat the contour and cut knob would be to turn the contour knob clockwise so the sound gets darker. <laughs> And then you go counterclockwise in the cut knob to, you know, cut less travel. So also a killer sound, however the feel is different. This is what I was trying to, to say before. If you send more travel into the gain stage of a pedal or, you know, of an amp or whatever, uh, this this changes the feel. In my opinion, you get more picking attack. So, somewhere here. <laughs> However, this might be too bright, you know, too bitey. And it's really nice that that they included the cut, cut knob, you know, to get rid of some travel. <laughs> You know, you feel, you know, it's a different feeling, more picking attack, killer stuff. Okay, so let's change over to my ES-335 and hear some humbucker sounds. Okay, as promised, Gibson ES-335 into the Rafty 20. And here comes the Wild Lobo. So you can hear much more gain happening, you know, the humbuck humbuckers are sending much more signal into the Wild Lobo. Um, let's do the opposite than what I just did. Let's go for like a boosty setting first. So I'm going down on the gain and increasing the volume. <laughs> So the sound gets brighter if you go down on the gain. And what you can do then, if you don't want to change the feel that you found on the contour knob, as I explained before, you can just cut a bit, a bit more high end. Also a killer sound, um, still a lot of gain, you know, we are also pushing the ref, so this is, you notice this.
Okay, one last thing. Let's go for full game. <laughs> So as you can tell, with humbuckers, cranking the gain, going uh, to, the, to the left on the tame toggle switch and finding an EQ position that you are enjoying, um, you can get a lot of gain out of this pedal and also maybe pushing your amp as I'm doing with my Refty 20 killer stuff um, by AS pedals. I'm really enjoying it. Um, that's it. Cool. I'm really digging the Wild Lobo. It's a lot of fun. I think it gives you a very raw sound without too much compression, you know. It sounds very amp-like if you want to. And it's pretty transparent as well. There are some upper mids maybe that I'm hearing, which remind me some Marshall-esque tones, but also some, you know, brownish type of tones. So it's super cool. The tame knob or the tame toggle switch, I should rather say, adds this little bit of extra clipping, which gives you actually a bit more compression if you want to. And the two EQ knobs let, let you sculpt your sound and, you know, let, let you find a sweet spot that works for you. It has a lot of vintage vibe, which I'm enjoying. I love this amp jewel over here, which is super beautiful. Um, beautiful craftsmanship, beautifully built by AS pedals in Mallorca. So, muy bien, me gusta mucho. And I hope that you guys like this demo. Please subscribe, leave me a like and a comment, and I hope to see you for the next one. Ciao!